Hey guys, we're back with another game of Popper. We're playing some Matron Control today. We've got all of our colors here. Um, Chainers, Mog War Marshal. Seems like a keep. We're going first. Let's lead with our Swamp and Pass. Depending on what we see, we might just go for Demir Aqueduct over the Mog War Marshal or maybe even the Edict. Looks like burn. No, goblins. Interesting. Haven't gone up against this matchup in a long time. A long time. Uh, so now we can either Edict or Mog War Marshal. I think I'm going to go with the Mog War Marshal as it trades with one of his creatures, or it can chump block. And we're going to have six. Don't have a lot of experience playing against this uh, matchup. It's not a deck you, not a, not a, um, a deck you see very often. Oh, he's just skipped his combat step. Okay. Plays a jackal familiar, and hey, maybe it's not. Uh... Okay. And. Uh... You know what? Let's pay for it. We're not in a big rush here. He's waiting for us to resolve our ability. We go. We are going to pay for it. Yes. Let's do your aqueduct. We'll return our mountain and pass. It might be the uh, red deck wins deck that's been going around with um, with uh, the new Burning Tree Emissary into Goblin Bushwhackers, a pretty strong play. Mm. Foundry Street Denizen certainly looks like goblins, but they don't often play Jackal Familiar. So I'm a little thrown off here. Goes in for two. We're going to double block the cohort. And then next turn, block the Foundry Street Denizen. We're not too far from Warren Pilferers, which is probably going to be game over for this guy. Uh, and I guess I'll play the Chainer's Edict now, since I have since my my next few turns are going to be taken up with expensive creatures. Probably going to eat the Jackal Familiar, which is fine, and then we've got a blocker for the Foundry Street. So he's not quite fast enough to deal with uh, our hand here, and then a um, following up Muldrifter or even the Pilferers is going to really start to seal this game. And see, now the Jackal Familiar can't really attack. I'm surprised he... Uh... Okay, he had another one in hand, that's why. Okay. Can't attack. Okay. Uh, let's go with the Muldrifter, I think. We don't mind trading at all. We're going to outvalue him. Great. Warren Weirding's going to have to come out, though.
Still on seven cards. I guess he's... Uh, oh, there we go. He found his second mountain. Goes for the Mud Brawler. Okay. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Foundry Street gets plus one, plus one. He's going in for a big attack. And I'll definitely block like this. And again, the Jackal Familiar won't be able to attack again. Flame Slash, all right. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the Pilferers, getting back the Mog War Marshal, attack for three. Seems good. We're gonna target our Mog War Marshal, get it back. Uh, let's cast our Aqueduct, get the Swamp back, swing for three. So much for being aggressive here. Valley Dasher. Okay, so it's definitely the um, red aggro list. And I can use this War and Weirding while I can. I'll take four. See if we can just wipe his board here. I think we'll do that. So let's go for the red source. We're going to warn weirding our opponent. Or do I want to leave counterspell up? It'd be kind of difficult. No, let's not do that. I think instead we'll... Uh... Well, is there a way to do it? Let's see. Yeah, there is. Okay, so let's do that then. No goblins. And we'll flame slash. Go in for three. And then he's probably got a, uh, a two mana play that I can counter. Nothing. Wow. Look at that. It's good for us. Alright. Let's go for the swamp. Our Gurmog Angler. I suppose we can cast it. And I'll get rid of the Mull Drifter here. Keeping the Chainer's Edict. This leading up double blue is a little bit awkward. And we're just gonna keep swinging with our Pilferers. Goes for a lightning bolt, maybe? Yeah, do I want to counter this? I think I do. And this game's pretty much locked down. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go to sideboarding. 
Hmm. Electricery seems okay, not that great. Um, wow, boy, we really don't have that much to board in against this guy. I guess we're pretty well set up already as it is. I'm going to get rid of a couple weirdings, that's for sure. And uh, I guess he's so low on, on red mana that maybe spreading seas would actually make a little bit of sense. Um, there's also Siphon Life mm -hmm. here that could do some good. Gaining mm -hmm. us some life, but that's maybe not what we want to be doing. I'm going to try the Spreading Seas. Uh, I know it's it's weird going down some removal, but the, the uh, Warren Weirding could be kind of awkward. And he's playing mostly creatures, so Negate's no good. Electricery hits the Foundry Street Denizens, and that's about it, right? So it doesn't seem all that good. Duress, well, he's got Lightning Bolts, and that's about it. That's it. So not that much to do, really. I mean, maybe taking out the Weirdings is a bad idea. Maybe that's not the right move. But uh, let's give it a shot. Leave it like that. Opponent's still sideboarding. Yeah, we we're already so jam-packed full of removal that it's kind of hard to know what to cut for these guys because we're, so, we're already so well built to fight them. Oh, maybe Sparksmith doesn't make so much sense. Let's take that out, put another Warren Weirding in. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> Glad I caught that. And our opponent's probably... Uh, oh, I haven't submitted. Whoa, sorry about that. I guess I need to resubmit uh, when I uh, make some changes. Our opponent's still... Sideboarding. I wonder what he could be doing. How much can he possibly sideboard in a mono red deck? I guess quite a bit. But he wants to be as aggressive as possible, and his, his main board is already pretty much set up for that. So aside from a few little odd changes, I don't see what he could do. Maybe he has some, I guess, uh, uh, some graveyard removal would be not bad, for, uh, considering what he saw with the Grimog Angler, the Worm Pilferers and stuff. So... Yeah, we'll have to see. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. No. Okay. Hopefully he's not uh, just... Trying to time us out here or something. Okay, uh, he chose to play first. We've got all three of our colors. No removal. We do have Goblin Machin, which can uh, search up a um, Tar Fire. It's not until turn three, though, so it's kind of a slow hand. Not sure if I want to keep this. Uh, especially because Counterspell is pretty much a dead card. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's keep it. Maybe we'll draw into some removal. Well, it's looking like a very good start for him. Okay, well, we've got our Swamp into Ash Barrens. Valley Dasher, maybe? Bushwhacker. Attacks for four. Oh, he didn't kick it. Maybe he meant to. Hopefully he's got another play. Oh, there we go, the cohort. Goes in for three instead. I don't know about that play. <laughs> We are going to get an island. A 
another Ash Barons. Okay. Well, let's land cycle again. Get ourselves a, another black source. And then we can boiler works. And F6, we'll have to discard down. We'll discard a mountain. Yeah, this is really, really deathly slow. Mud Brawler. Wow, he's going to be attacking for a lot here. We could put some mass removal in our graveyard, in our in our sideboard to help deal with these swarm decks, but it looks like this is going to go to game three. Yeah, we kept a bad hand for this matchup. Okay. I guess we'll go for a matron. We'll get the tar fire. We'll have a block and then uh, a tar fire flame slash next turn. Yep, not great, not great. It's also very slow, slower than me. I <laughs> I can't believe how much slower I get when I'm recording. It's crazy, because I I have to speak everything that I'm doing. It's it's it it really slows down the game a lot for me. Whoa! Are we dead? <laughs> Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're not dead, but we're pretty much dead. Well, at least trade with the Foundry Street. Oh, yeah, we are exactly dead. Okay, yeah, I forgot about the Bushwhacker haste. Okay, um, the Spreading Seas is stupid. Let's not do that. Um... Let's bring in the Siphon Life instead. Is that it? I'm kind of contemplating whether Counterspell, I mean, is, is maybe worth another Warren Weirding instead. I mean, I can use it on my own stuff, and that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. I mean, it kind of sucks we don't have a proper sideboard cards for this, but what can you do? Yeah, I put in the Shattering Pulse instead of the Grimog Angler. I found I was never sideboarding in another Angler. Didn't make much sense, so uh, at least this will help me deal with Affinity and random uh, decks with uh, artifacts and stuff. The fact that it's an instant is pretty sweet. Our opponent's... Running us down again on the clock. Maybe I'll just cut this part out because it's pretty boring. Sorry about that, folks. Oh, here we go. All right, game three. We will play first. Uh, again, we have a slow hand here. We've got a, all of our colors and we've got an accumulated knowledge, but uh, no removal. I'm going to mulligan. That's a lot better. Let's keep that. And we're going to put the boiler works on top.
I might be able to flame slash just turn one play. Unless it's like a jackal or something, I might not. Boundary Street. Now that's worthy of a flame slash. He's got his second land. Goes for a Jackal Familiar and another Foundry Street Denizen. Jackal Familiar is going to get no harm from us. Although we could kill both now, but I think I'm going to preordain first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we've got a Matron and an Ash Barons. I'm. Let's see. I should leave both on top, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's go top, top, get the Matron. Flame Slash the Denizen. Player Mountain and pass. There's a good chance the Jackal will be able to attack next turn, but if eventually we just run him out of other creatures, he uh, the Jackal's just going to sit there doing nothing. But here comes a Mud Brawler. Valley Dasher. Okay. It's not dashed in. Okay. So we can uh, play our Swamp. We can Matron for a Tar Fire. Or we can Terminate and then uh, Basic Land Cycle. I think what I'll do, well, I do want to get to Muldrifter next turn, but I can do that by just casting, uh, by just playing the Ash Barons as well. It does keep me off like a double blue or something. I think, I think I'll just go with the Goblin Matron play into Tarfire. And we'll Tarfire the Dasher. Next turn we can Muldrifter, or Terminate, I guess, but uh, most likely a Muldrifter. Mud Brawler. Goes in for four. Uh, do I want to let that go? Uh, because the Goblin Matron could live to fight another day here, and I'm just going to... Uh, block with the Muldrifter next turn anyway. I think I'll just take the four. And he ends his turn right there. Oh, here's an, here's an interesting option. We can um, Edict and Terminate here. Might not be a bad move. And it allows me to Ash Barons for another... Oh, I need to get a Black Source. Not the end of the world, actually because that uh, sets me up for a flashback edict as well. Let's do that. Does that work? Just wanna make sure that works. Yeah. So we need to use our blue mana. We're gonna get a swamp. We're gonna play our swamp. We're gonna cast terminate. And then chainer's edict. And I'm going to hold back on the Goblin Matron here. And then next turn we can Muldrifter. Goes for the Court.
Mole Drifter into land and a removal spell would be pretty good. That's his only play. Wow, lucky us. Ooh, we've got a War Marshal here. Uh, I think the Mole Drifter's still much better, although I'm, that's a very welcome draw. Mole Drifter. I guess could have made a case for Pyroblast here. And we get a Swamp and an Ash Barrens, which is good. So we'll leave it there. You didn't have six to return, so I imagine he has a lightning bolt or something. Flame slash. Okay. We're at Chainer Mana next turn. Maybe a Bushwhacker. Kicked. Okay. We'll take three. This is why we didn't chump block earlier. And we actually get some extra value out of the Goblin Matron. We get a two for one. basic land cycle for our blue source finally not that we actually need it but okay I'm gonna go for the Mog War Marshal instead since I do want to accumulate it knowledge maybe I'll do that on my I'll do that right now actually see what I can get we get another Mog War Marshal, so we're going to run it. Armini can here. Hopefully uh, he didn't board an Electricery. I don't think he would have, but you never know. Maybe this was a bit reckless. He still has three cards in hand. He's probably wondering, what do I do now? And we're probably going to pay for both of these Mog War Marshals. Even if it means that we can't Edict next turn. What does he got for us? Yeah, it's going to be hard for him to get by all these blockers, that's for sure. Nothing. Okay. We are going to pay for it. Well, it means that we're out of red mana. We get an aqueduct. We're going to play it. Return a swamp and pass. We are in triple bolt range here. We gotta be careful. He does have that reach. He's gotta break this defense somehow. Goes for the jackal. He can attack. Doesn't do it. Okay. We 
Let's eat it. Um. And I guess we'll flame slash. We've stabilized, it seems. Let's go in, I think for two. Ah, let's go in for three. Burning tree. Into. Inner flame acolyte. Target creature gets plus two plus zero and gains haste until end of turn. Okay. It's not gonna do all that much. Unfortunately, go for it. It's a 4 2 haste. We're just going to chump block. We get another goblin, which can still trade with his entire board. Oh, we just get an aqueduct here. So let's pass. We do need to draw some cards. A mall drifter or anything would be very, very good. Goes for. Egg. Desert. Uh, exile, target artifact or land, deals two damage to that permanence controller. Wow! I have never seen this card. Huh. I'm down to seven. Deep analysis will do. We get a Warren Weirding. It's kind of an expensive piece of tech there. And we'll go for the Demir Aqueduct. Returning a Swamp. And we'll pass. And the Pilferers will get us a Muldrifter. Goes for the court. I wonder if he'll attack into this now. Nope. Whoa, double pilfers. That's pretty good. Let's go for the first one. I don't know why I tapped like that. Kind of weird. Uh, let's get back. Oh, we could get Goblin Matron, but I think that's probably not the best play. We want to just get some bodies. And maybe we can go in with the Muldrifter kill in the air. Okay, we're feeling a lot safer. Next thing we want right now is a counter spell, I guess. For the uh, inevitable. Uh... Okay, Valley Dasher. It's got to attack, so he's probably going for some sort of aggression this turn. Maybe a Bushwhacker. Mm. 
Lightning bolts, okay. So we're gonna block like this, like this, and oh, I thought I could kill the uh, mud brawler, but I'm one goblin short. So we will kill the Valley Dasher here, and we'll have to take two, I think. We'll go to five. go we get a token he ends the turn oh we left the goblin alive shoot although we can um, weirding ourselves let's go pilferers into pilferers He's down to zero cards. Mm, yeah, I should hold on to this weirding. And uh, do I want to attack? I can go in with the pilfers. I think I'll wait on that. I think it's Muldrifter time. We draw two and an edict, so that'll do nicely. Uh, let's go in for four. I think we might only have uh, another matron left to fetch. Yeah, let's get the matron. It's only one card. Here's a siphon life to save the day. That's really good. I suppose we can uh, Chainer's Edict. We have four, six, eight, ten mana. This needs eight. No, seven, sorry. Seven. Okay, so we can Chainer's Edict and Siphon Life. So I think that's what we'll do. To make sure we need Chainer's Edict. And we'll hit, hit him for five. And yeah, he's not going to be able to get us the bolt now. This game is done. There's a slow claw back to the winning position, but we managed it. Still managing to use all of our mana effectively. And he's, yeah, he's dead next turn. 
pretty much no matter what. Goes for a Valley Dasher. Foundry Street. Yeah, he knows he's done. Um... Yeah, I'll just take the two. And he concedes. All right, well, that was a really good game. Uh, we kept a really shoddy hand in the uh, uh, second match.